Today we're going to start our final chapter, which is chapter six, and we'll start with lesson 18, investment decisions. We're going to jump right into a problem. You are considering investing in a business. The business will cost $60,000 and require another $10,000 in immediate renovations. The business is expected to return $20,000 per year for four years. The company requires a 10% rate of return. We're going to evaluate this business and see if it's a good idea to invest. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the problem. And the way we normally do this, as we know, is by drawing a well-labeled timeline. This business goes for four years. So there we have four years worth of the business. And let's put in all of our money. We are going to invest into the business. I'm putting a down arrow for things that are going into the business. $60,000. And we're putting in another $10,000. Those are investments in the business. They're going in red because we're paying them. Then we are also going to be making a return. That is $20,000 a year for four years. Let's put in all those $20,000 investments. So let's look at this problem and see if we can answer some questions. I have a few questions to ask when I consider whether or not a business is a good idea or not. The first thing we should always do going all the way back to chapter one and chapter two, do we have a profit? If we don't have an overall profit, no matter what the timing and interest says, we're not going to invest. Well, let's look. Profit is our money in minus money out or revenue minus expenses. Well, we've got in four times $20,000 or $80,000 minus 60,000 and 10,000. And we could just call that 70 because it's all together. When you put that together, we have a $10,000 profit. Yes, if this was negative, we would stop right here and not consider this business anymore. Next, what we're gonna do is look at the payback for this business. So what this means is we're gonna take this business and look at how long a period of time until we break even. So we're gonna look at our investment on a time by time basis. So I'm gonna start with time zero and I'm gonna say what my cash flow is. So that's money in or money out and what my balance is. So at the beginning, we're investing $70,000 in the business. That's a negative because we're putting it in. Our overall balance is $70,000. At time one, we make $20,000, which puts us up to minus 50. We keep on going, put those in. I'm gonna put a K for 1,000, just because why not? Noting that at the end of year two, we have $30,000. At the end of year three, we've got negative $10,000. And then finally, by the end of year four, we've somehow made it to positive. So over here, we're negative. We're in a loss situation. And over here, we're in a profit situation. So what we're gonna say is our payback is three and a half years. And we'll talk about that, how we get to the half. But the important thing is somewhere between years three and four, we end up with a profit. So it's going to take us three and a half years until we get our initial investment back. In general, shorter paybacks are better because we get the money earlier. So if we have a choice between getting our money back in three years and getting our money back in 10 years, choose three. So we look at that. And this is one of the things that we consider when making an investment. It's just one thing to look at. Let's look at another one. 
So what we're going to do is calculate the net present value for this business. 